Hello, in this problem we are going to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of this function y equals 4 times the sine squared of x at the point pi over 6 comma 1 solution. So to find the equation of the tangent line we need two things. We need a point which is already given in the problem and we need a slope. So the slope of the tangent line is going to be the derivative of y evaluated at pi over 6. So this is going to be the slope of our tangent line, and this is going to be the point that we're going to use that lies on our tangent line. So using the point and the slope, we can use the point-slope formula to find the line. So all we have to do in this problem is take the derivative, plug in pi over 6, that gives us a slope, and then we use these two things to find the line. So really, we can think of y as 4 times sine of x quantity squared. So when we differentiate here, we're going to use the chain rule. So y prime is equal to, so you bring down the 2, 2 times 4 is 8, you leave the inside function untouched, subtract 1 from the exponent, times the derivative of the inside function, which is cosine. So this is the derivative of y. Again, bring down the 2, 2 times 4 is 8, subtract 1 from the exponent, times the derivative of the inside, so we get cosine. Now we just have to plug in the x value, so y prime pi over 6 is equal to 8 times the sine of pi over 6, cosine of pi over 6, so this is equal to 8, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half, cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4, goes into 8 twice, so you get 2 square root of 3. Boom, that's our slope. So now we get to use the point-slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m, parentheses x minus x1. So in our particular problem, x1 is pi over 6, y1 is 1. So it's y minus 1 equals 2 square root of 3, parentheses x minus, and then pi over 6 is our x1. Again, this is our x1, there's our x1, this is our y1, there's our y1. Let's go ahead and distribute this through. y minus 1 equals 2 square root of 3 times x minus 2 square root of 3 times pi over 6. And we can add 1 to both sides, plus 1 plus 1. Let's get y equals, I'm going to go ahead and put this in parentheses, 2 root 3. x just for clarity so there's no confusion as to whether the x, like, you know, I just want to make sure it's not like, you know, accidentally do something like this and put it in the square root. Here we can simplify a little bit. The 2 goes into the 6 3 times. So we get minus the square root of 3 over 3 times pi. And then we have this plus 1. And that's going to be the equation of the tangent line to the graph of this function at this point. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.